and hello everyone welcome back to another roblox tutorial in this tutorial we'll be learning how to create neon signs in roblox Neon signs are bright and colorful electric signs that draw attention to something. Such as where the user can enter a building. You would sometimes notice places has this glowing sign outside of them. Even in real life, there's a glowing sign that says open or entrance here. And that is usually a neon sign. It's usually something really bright that catches attention. Now let's create the backboard and the border so let's go and let's add a block part so we go to part we say block and here is our block part then here what we want to do is we want to go and make the brick color so if you click on this you'll notice it has a brick color let's make it black so as dark as you can go and here we can search for size and with this, you can actually also change the size. You don't need to change it by clicking on this and then scaling it. You also have the option to change it here. So let's change the X to 8. Change the Y to 4. And change the Z to 1. Here we go. So now we have this. And then finally, we can enable the anchored right here. So you just say, yep, it should be anchored. This means it will stay in the air if it's put in the air. You can select this part and let's rename it to backboard, just so we know which part is the backboard. Then you can say control D or if you're a Mac, command and D and that will duplicate this blackboard. As you can see here, now there are two. So here we can just select move and we can move either one of these two boards so like that. And let's just move this one like that so we can see it. There we go. Then here we can change this one's color to lime green. So instead of really black, we just go to something like this, which is lime green. And we can set the size right here and you can use this for precision if you prefer using the normal scaling up here then you can but if this is usually for more precision work such as now we need you to make it just 0.15 smaller than this one now the easiest way to do that is to go into size and just say 7.75 so now it's 0.15 smaller than the original here as well 3.75 and in here, this one will be a little bit smaller, like 2 point, or not 2, but 0 0.25. So here we go. And this one we can name border. So instead of backboard, we can say border. Then again, press Control and D to duplicate border. And this time, don't move it. Now for this part we just duplicated, what we can do is we can go here, we can set the size to 7.5, this Y here to 3.5, so it's going to go a little bit smaller, but then the Z is going to be a bit bigger, it's going to be 1. So it's going to protrude a little bit in the front and the back here, but everywhere else it's going to be a little bit smaller. Now the reason for this is because we want to negate it. So if you remember in the previous tutorial, negate will allow us to remove things. So we can go to model, negate, and you'll notice if we go here, here you'll notice that we are negating it. It is almost invisible. And then to fuse them together, you select the one you're going to negate, you select the one you want to fuse it into, and then you say union. And now here, we have our border, as you can see. Then here, we need to make it neon because it is a neon sign. So let's go here, search the material. And instead of plastic, 
we go and find neon, which will make it shine. And then if we may rename this back to border. So up until now, we haven't really done anything new yet. Basically, we have just created our own custom shape. And we have created our custom, or we've created a little block here. So we haven't really done anything new yet. But let's import a 3D object. We could create our own, but I want to ask to import one. So open up your browser and search for Roblox Docs. Then here you'll see create.roblox.com and then pointing to Docs, you just click on this. And for those of you who don't know, my tutorials are based on the Roblox documentation. So a lot of the things I talk about, you will also be able to find in the documentation. And then you just scroll down, you say browse by topic tutorials. And if you don't see that, you can just enter this URL into your URL bar. But anyways, once you're here, you then click on sculpting terrain and you go to create neon signs. Then you just scroll down and you scroll down and you just go here, open text object. You just click it and then it will download that open text object. Perfect. Then we can go to home and say import 3D. We click it, we go to downloads and we say open dash text dot object. We say open and here it has our open text as an object. So it's basically text that has already been created for us. So we don't have to go through the effort of creating this 3D text. And you just keep all of the things default and just say import. And it should say successfully imported. You just say close. Cool. Now let's actually make all of this work together. So let's see. What am I looking at? Okay, there's our thing. So we just move this to the front. We go like that. We move it closer to the front. Here we go. The first thing we need to do is we need to move this symbol or this border onto our box here. Go like this. And I'm just going to use select and I move it with select. Here we go. So that's very close. Now we can just use move again. Now it doesn't need to be perfect. Now we can take this open symbol here and we can also move it on here. However, it is currently orientated in the wrong direction, but we'll get to that. So let's first go and go to its color, go in here, select this. So you need to go and open this part here and select this open sign text one. And then here you can search for color. We can set the color to, and we can actually just change this here to 17000. This will make it mostly red. Anyways, enter that, and now we have a nice red. Then here we can go to material and just also make this neon. So we go neon. And to make it show the right way, we can just go to rotate here and just select it, rotate. And then here, just make sure you have selected the text. Then here on the green, you can just turn it until it's open. Because it's 3D, it's very simple to just quickly turn it and get it to show in the right way. So now it should be correct. Let me take a look here. It's a little too big, but no, it's just to the front. So if you move it back, in theory, it should now fit in perfectly. There we go. Then we can go here, we can select this text. Hold control, select base plate, hold control, select backboard. And to convert them into one single model, one object, we can press control and G. And now this model here is one thing, meaning the text and everything is part of it. So now everything here is part of this model. It's basically in its own little group. And this just makes it easier to manage your objects later on when you have 
hundreds of these objects in your game. And here we can just call it neon sign. And that is how you create a neon sign in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next Roblox tutorial.